Didn't and you I, also do that thing where people paid you to get sick? I'm telling you, it's the hormones in the Woody's chicken. The matric girls like me. Mm-hmm. Like, I'd love to be a DJ. Yeah, people don't do this anymore. I never knew if I had enough stuff under my belt to call myself an actress. If you've been in one movie, I don't think you're an actress. But you are giving them support because you said that they're moving back home. You as well. <laughs> they feed <laughs> off my vibes. <laughs> You know, taken all those things that I learned over the years and I made this something that was sustainable for myself. I feel like you, you need a wee. Hello, mean sir. Skulk beside Nadia. Yeah, welcome to another episode of Your Mom with Skulk. And thank you. This would not be possible without our sponsor's house. Today I'm having the Yugo. It's like a sparkling cocktail. I've never had it before. It's good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very privileged today to have the lovely Tani Daniil. Good day. Morning. Daniil, mother of... A girl named Cassidy, you might know on Instagram. And then let's just quickly introduce our special guest today. Gunks. Shaky. (laughs) And Tuli. Gunks. Yes. Where's that name from? What's that? That's me. That's just Gunks is short for Gunky. I just, I'm sorry, but I couldn't go with all these. He was just a Gunky to me when he was born. Oh, cute. And this is Tuli. Tully. Not to be confused with Tully. No, um, it's a girl. Yeah. <laughs> of course. So I would never make that I would never make that mistake. Never. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, um, Danny Daniel, we in your lovely home here in Hout Bay. Um you didn't grow up you you didn't grow up here. Okay, so, well, why are you laughing? Is it not <laughs> her lovely she's home? I'm so shocked by the fact that I don't do tannies. <laughs> hey? I don't do auntie tanny. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> Well, you. Just, just, I, always call the, I always call the mom's tunny because it's just my upbringing. That's but okay, skunk. you are wearing a a, a G star raw top. It's not yeah. screaming tunny. No, it's not giving tunny. No, it's not. <laughs> Nothing's giving tunny. I'm learning to. I mean, how old are you now? Twenty seven. Twenty seven. I'm learning, like how we used to speak in our twenties. I'm now officially like. I'm now 31. I'm officially now at an age where I realize, like, we, I don't, we, young people don't speak the same. Mm. Okay. No. So now I've learned the it's giving yeah. thing. That's a new thing now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kids call it, you by your name. It's these giving. Days. You would say, normally, you look like yeah. Pamela Anderson, or you'd say, I'm getting Pamela Anderson vibes. Yes. Now there we go. It's giving Pamela Anderson. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fucking exhausting. It is, right? <laughs> Um, okay, so where, where did where did you live for most when Cassidy was growing up? Uh, so I come from Pinelands. I um, spent my youth in Pinelands and then I finished school and then I was like, I'm at the house. And then I did went on my wild adventures. But um, when Cassidy was born. You can't born, just say wild adventures and then, and then when Cassidy was <laughs> born, oh, oh, what wild yeah. adventures? Well, yeah. Do you really want to know my whole life story? Because yeah, I mean, you'll edit it out if it's not really wild and adventurous. <laughs> no, but well, I'm, basically, when I left school, I actually decided I wanted to be a hairdresser. Okay. So um, I studied to be a hairdresser, but because I was wild and adventurous I couldn't handle going to the theory it was just too boring I mm. want to do work so you can't just go in cold and cut <laughs> hair that's a, that's a she person she just wants to raw dog it <laughs> yeah so anyway you know it was yeah and actually raw dog was, a perm I, yeah, <laughs> I worked for a company called Scissors I don't know if you remember them back in the diesel and no. then yeah <laughs> you're saying it like I'm not that old <laughs> geez I was just saying <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure your mom would know it. Anyway, so, yeah. so anyway, I left Cape Town and I moved to Johannesburg, lived in my own a little apartment and I worked at Santon. And anyway, that lasted for a whole maybe one year. And then I was over that. Yeah. So I saved up hard and then I started traveling and um, lived, in a, lived in London for a year. Then I went to the States. Then I traveled Yo. through Mexico on my own. Lived in Miami for three months, came back to New York, no money. 
Well, it sounds like nothing. It. And then I worked there for two years. Did you I, also do that thing where people paid you to get sick? People paid you to get no, sick. No, you know, in, in New what York, happened? wild and wonderful things. You hear that you can go and be a guinea, guinea pig in hospital. Oh, you had to get sick. You, no, well, you go, they're looking for... They're looking to for test people. Medicine. Yeah, exactly. So mm. I went to Rockefeller University. Yeah, look at you. Lucky you didn't get addicted to opioids. I just watched <laughs> Painkillers on Netflix. Did you watch it? I haven't seen it it's yet. It's about the opioid crisis. Now they think, oh, take this. It's only got 5% heroin in and before you know it, you're like, eh, they're on opioids. <laughs> no, sure. so I went to Rockefeller University and actually that's not a that's not a hospital where they treat um, patients that are sick. Act, the only thing they do treat them is if they have psoriasis which is something I learned about so I did a low fat high carbohydrate diet for two months and then they monitor you yeah and they pay you and they pay you yeah good to, money and to eat what well I Bread actually my first butter. no my <laughs> first month I was only on liquids it was sure. quite hectic. And then do you, where do you sleep? Lard. Do they lock you up? Lots of lard. Lard. Yeah. Do they lock you up in a room or you stay in the You stay in the hospital. You don't, you can't go out. You you can go. Sounds it's quite hectic. Hectic. No, yeah. it's wild. But it's hey? huge. I mean, but yeah, I mean, we, there were a whole lot of us that did it and we used no, to go. No, they just took our passports and said you can yeah, go. Yeah, and we used to go and investigate <laughs> what was in the hospital. We came across monkeys and it's a hell of a situation going on there. So there's a lot of testing going on. Yeah. Yeah, some people have Can their toes. Can we get into trouble for saying, for, some are people we going to get, get sued by Rockefeller <laughs> Hospital? Some people <laughs> get their toes cut off. Like it's just a their toes t- cut off. <laughs> What are they even? T- what medicine are they? We've got this new toe pull. If you if you lose a toe, you take a pull. You forget your toe fell off. Okay, quickly, take this. Tell me, how do you feel? Um, what though? Yes, it works. <laughs> Put it on the market. Oh my god, exactly. that's yeah, it was insane! Very, it was very. I can't believe you it, did that. Yeah, it was quite hectic, and the only time Don't we know were allowed. Done that. The only time we were allowed out of the hospital was when we would go like for a walk, let's say in. I don't know, like Madison Square Gardens or around there or, you know, just to get out. Yeah. You were never allowed to go out on your own. We had to go out in a group. But we also had like a room where we could <laughs> so play can pool. You, do you mind taking the chimpanzee with you? He's getting <laughs> a bit cage. anxious inside. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, damn it. Can you just take him for a walk? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And it was wild there. Eh? Only in New York. Freedom mm. of speech at the max. Yo. Crazy. Okay. Yeah. Then, then I had Cassidy. The greatest 19, gift in your life. 96. 96. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Cassidy, what do you want to know about Cassidy? Cassidy has been very entertaining. She's a real bright. I gave myself to the people. She's very, she's Oof. very, um, she's very bright and colorful. Cassidy, all I can say about Cassidy is Cassidy is very loud <gasps> in every yeah. way. But when she's not around you, you really miss her. She doesn't even have to speak. Yes. She's just got a presence that is just extremely colorful. She's very hardworking. And I, I always say this, I wish her, I just wish her the, the best. In I didn't pay I her. I push her a lot. I push her a lot, actually, believe it or not. I did the same thing my mom did, which was pretty much met just a saying. Met a couple. Yeah, met a couple, <laughs> went to their house, was like, Took a you bunch guys of pulls. do. Yeah. <laughs> Got got monitored, got, got paid. Got monitored, got paid. Exactly. Um, yeah, I, I I went and I actually, you know, did screenwriting, did act, uh, acting, and then producing and directing, and I learned how to do it and by doing it. Um, yeah, and here we are now, I guess. And when uh, when did you start stand up? Stand up started this year. Yeah. Only this year. Only this year. Yeah. Hmm, that's yeah, weird. Yeah. That was Thought wild. Was She's been standing no. up in the family since <laughs> she was like four. I don't know, stand up and just talk. Telling jokes in the in the house. No, no, no. That was my dad telling me I was a joke. <laughs> No, I was actually just telling them like about my life um, and making fun of my mom. From yeah. a very young age, I was making fun of my mom. You and your mom, this is the, the mom and daughter combo we've had that look the most similar. Like when you came out to open the think, gate for me. Did you think, did you have me, to look twice? It's I control like, C, control V vibes. And then yeah, if you look no, at the... Is, 
and then, then there's we, never a doubt. You don't have. And no then we've DNA got another one. And then my youngest daughter, and she's like, but she looks like me, me. not my mom. Me. So I <laughs> no, I she does. And then I tell people for funsies, I'm like, it's my child. I was a very rambunctious eleven year old. It's mine. And then and my that mom can happen these yeah, days because there's a lot of hormones in the woolly's chicken. You know, <laughs> so this is what I'm saying. <laughs> I know. My psychologist says. <laughs> Because we spoke about the other day about she's very, like, very, she's even very impressionable. Organic. She's very impressionable. Even free range. No, oh my God. psychologist told me the other day because we were talking about kids growing up a lot faster than normal. Yes. Like a 13 year old now does not look like when we were 13, especially the, the, um, matrix. I went on like this. I performed on the net matrix boot race. Yeah. Which is matrix vac but they book out the whole MSC boat wow. and then the matrix go on there. It's, it's wow. Half of it is a really fun experience. The other half is also like not fun at all. Cause it's a bunch of matrix getting shit faced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And especially like the big rugby guys. I was 10 years at the time, 10 years older than all these Oaks, but like, that all that like bully vibes from yeah. school just came back because when I walk into a room, mm. you know, obviously the way I dress yeah, and yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. more on the alternative side and a bit out there. And mm. then they'd be like, oh, fuck, look who's walking in here. Or yeah. they feel like, oh, you think you're cool because you're a comedian. And I would just like look down. <laughs> also because they get jealous because the, the matric girls like me. Okay. they And so they will come mm. and like, ee! And like take a photo <laughs> and now all the guys are like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking me, why is he getting attention? <laughs> yeah. And then they get like self-conscious yeah. and their way of like dealing with that is like by being mean to me. Yeah. But then, you know, I, I, I should have just been like, oh, fuck off. But, yeah, yeah. but I was like, <laughs> exactly. my, my, my phone's ringing. We're in the middle of the ocean, no signal. <laughs> <Some> hello? <laughs> uh, and it's so bad. But anyway. Oh, gosh. Um, oh, yeah. Then, but, those boys, now mm. I was like, yo, they don't look like Matrix. How we looked in Matrix. No, not they, at all. They, they're huge. They're massive. Yeah. They're these monster, especially the ones from Bloemfontein. But anyway, <laughs> and then my psychologist was like. They're being fed a lot of beef. There's, I'm telling you, it's the hormones in the Woolish Chicken. It's the hormones. Because she was saying with her, with her daughter as mm. well, like just the way that the body's developing is like yeah. faster than what mm. she experienced. So, Willie's in the... Yeah. So, so it I'm, is possible. I'm, That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. It's Thank possible you, these days. You know, we needed to clear that up. Um, But I just do that for the banter because the Karens in in Woolies in the chicken aisle um, are actually like... <gasps> And then my mom will put a lasagna in the trolley and then they'll be like, and yet, and yet, <laughs> couldn't be. So, yeah, I like to just take a little bit of the chat because we all just look so similar. And then there's the, was the dad even involved question? Yeah. But that's uh, the moment you see him, you'll also be like, yep, makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> so um, when people ask you, what does Cassidy do? What is your... Sorry, Mensa, that's load shedding again. It's weird how load shedding strikes in the middle of every episode, but Mensa, if you listen to the last episode, you will know that there is a way to say goodbye to load shedding forever and always, and that is through our friends at Go Solar. And because you listened last week, you'll know there's no big upfront cost with Go Solar. They essentially pay for your entire solar system, and you just pay them a monthly subscription cost. But I'm not going to talk to you today about how, from a cost perspective, it's a no-brainer to Go Solar with Go Solar, but what I am going to to tell you is that by using Go Solar, you don't actually own the solar system and therefore don't have to worry about a thing because Mensa, every little thing's going to be all right. Where have I heard that? Mensa, you know like when you rent a house and you, you don't own it. Now, now it's lacquer. When the geezer breaks, you just call the landlord. Hey, my geezer's broken. Come and fix it. You on? Or an act of God, like a meteor hits your house. Hey, there's a hole in my roof. Come fix it. Call the roof people. Like that, Mensa. If anything happens to your solar system, something's not working, whatever, Go Solar will sort it out. It's the peace of mind that someone's got your back. That's Go Solar. Go S O L R without the A. Like. So um, when people ask you, what does Cassidy do? What is your answer? What is her job? I say she's a content creator. Content Good. creator. Yeah, I do. And is that what you see or do you 
maybe you're too new in stand up to feel like you're a stand up comedian yeah, I, by I, profession. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I definitely it's a weird thing because I have been like that with all of my like careers. Like I when I was an actress, I never knew if I had enough uh, stuff under my belt to call myself an actress. And then Cuz that's always a bit How do I put it? It's like a, always a bit like cringe. Yeah. When someone says they something and you, but like like you know what they've done in that field and then you're like oh, I don't I don't know if yeah. I would mm, say exactly. that. Exactly. Because when I started stand up there were guys on my level and like I know none of us are earning money from this. Yes. And then they meet especially like with the opposite sex now they meet girls and like what do you do? I'm a comedian. I'm like you're not a comedian. You are like all of us here trying to be, be yes. a comedian. You're still auditioning for the role yeah. of a comedian. You do it's you should say I I I do stand up comedy. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Here exactly. and there. Yeah. yeah. But you can't say you're a comedian just yet. I I feel you're only a comedian if you like are paying your bills through With, comedy. Yes. You're not like Working in the wimpy on the weekends, mm. like you full time. Yeah, okay. and, and so it's tough. and also like yeah. If you've been in one movie, I don't think you're an actress. <laughs> She's not saying that about me. I feel like no. I need to let everyone know. <laughs> no, I'm not she saying that about my daughter. She throws a lot of salt daughter. in my wounds, but not like that. <laughs> what movie were you in? A lot, but I can't tell you necessarily why because they're still because, coming out yes because okay. a lot of them are coming out and i've done a lot of um pilots from pilot seasons and stuff as well so i would tell you and you'd google and you'd be like that doesn't exist yeah okay. from pilot season but currently the one that's coming out now is devil's peak on mnet i was in that one okay um and then which ones are out at the moment i did maze runner i did action point with johnny knoxville um there's a oh, few that i out. made yeah because he was here in south africa yeah, yeah, to yeah. do it i was what um, was you what, oh, what, what was, was you? you? Yeah. What was you in the movie? I, I was one of the, we called ourselves shitbirds. So uh, I was one of the kids that worked at the carnival. And basically I went up to Johnny Knoxville with a few of my friends because I was like an extra in it. And then we ended up like just pulling a prank on, on Johnny. And he was like, I like you guys. Here's a role. So that's how we got the role in that. Um, what is the movie about? Uh, so it's actually based on a true story. It's about a carnival in New Jersey and there were all these other competing carnivals and they were making no money. So they started putting drugs in all of the food and they started taking the breaks of all the rides just to give kids like this other world this crazy of, of experience. Yeah. Yeah. And they made like their profits were insane, but they were also being sued left, right and center because people were dying. Like they had a slide that went upside Whoa, down. And then people fell out. And literally. And they died. So the moment they started getting all of these uh, lawsuits, they sold to the big, the big, uh, one of the bigger carnival people. And now they had to have those lawsuits. So okay, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to try and look out for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, is, I hope it's not one of those like, look out for me. And then you like, you and, then, and then you go, yeah, 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 no, no, okay, okay. rewind, yeah. rewind, no, too far, too far, too far, it's like, fuck, okay, yeah, 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 oh, and then I did Warrior, that one's out at the moment, I've well. been like that in adverts, yeah, you know, no. I did a Pepsi advert, was it, okay. yeah, 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 the, I can know what you just have you to have wait to now, rewind. you have to wait again, <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> and then my mom, like, <laughs> you were obviously never worried about her not going the traditional route or getting a backup plan because you never well you know, got, like, you know let me just, backup. you just uh, went you just jumped uh, like yeah, and but, then you're like a booking model agent and then you're like uh, but you know? you know what the thing is i'm as or i did said you not you, want it to, I, my, to i've got a bro life. my brother's my, i've got a brother who's incredibly brilliant he's got like seven degrees what does he do he's a lawyer okay he lives in the uk he 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 was living in the UAE for 10 years. He's He is so smart. He's, as I said, he's in, very academic. He's totally opposite to me. Not that I'm, I'm not saying that I'm doff or anything, but I just, I'm a practical person. I'm not, I got to do practical things. So mm -hmm. like, I'd love to be a DJ. 
I'd love to be a makeup artist. I'm really pissed off with myself actually that I'm not a makeup artist because actually that's what I wanted to do when I left school and I didn't do it. You see, I was like too busy what trying to be like. <laughs> yeah, people don't do I'm this all anymore. Over. I'm all over. My kids like, you know, they. I mean, just your joke. outfit is actually like very deep, like the raw, and you got like the sort of hip hop pants. <laughs> Look, I think, I think, because uh, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Would I'm 38. <laughs> I don't age. I'm going down. I'm Benny. What's the mindset? I'm going Benjamin in the, Button. Yeah, exactly. I'm Benny. You're Benny Button. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, you, you know. Oh, you said there was so much gravitas. I'm 38. <laughs> <laughs> no, I almost believed you for a second the way you said it. I'm 27 and she's 38. Yeah, we're no, doing it. I think. <clears throat> no, I, I laughed at you for when you said DJ, but now that I pause, I think there's something there because people these days they love something different. Like obviously, a, a, a DJ that's like a normal. But not, I'll tell not that you you're what, not a normal no, age, I'll but like you. Uh, you know. That there's so many. Yeah. It's now just, there's like this tunny DJ. Yeah. No, but it's because actually it's I, something different. I've always something lo- different. I've always Good loved luck. music. I love music a lot. Mm. Mm. I remember like growing up in my little room with my little radio listening to f- Radio 5. And then I always used to sit in my room and with a hairbrush and think I was Bono and that's not D- that's not DJ. No, no, no yeah. but I okay. mean I love <laughs> music. I, I really I really have always loved music very much. And Cassidy loves music. Alexa growing up, she was like she used to tell us to switch the radio the music off. music off in the car. I nearly plutzed. Yeah. I nearly threw out the car. But anyway, no. Who's this, we, your sister? My sister. Yeah, my she sister was like, I don't music. like music. And she's I was very like, different to us. She doesn't like water. She doesn't like music. But now she's <laughs> she's much better. Now she also does. She does like music. She's she, an e-girl. Yeah. She's like so emotional. She's an anime. And she's really beautiful. And she's also done a Netflix movie, but she's not an actress. Eh? Okay. What does she did? What does she do on it? Well, she actually did a really, really nice movie on Netflix, but... Yeah, but what did she do? She's not an actress. Don't do no, I'm just saying, movie? I'm just Don't saying, like, because she's done one movie doesn't mean she's an actress. Oh, uh, I... My yes. mom's being shady. That's the thing. She's being a salty bitch right now. <laughs> and I know, because she makes these comments about people yeah. who are like, anyway. Well, I think there's something with the DJ thing. I think you should pursue that. I think you should, you should look into it. Because, yeah. like, we, how often at, like... Shimmy Beach Club, I know that's a different yeah. name now, I forget, but Carbo. Carbo. Yeah. Like when at like December, Carbo, black coffee. And and shit, I would have to Tani. think about Daniel. Tani Daniel. <laughs> no. Then you have to put the Tani there because no, that's gonna, gonna yeah, be yeah, that's you gonna be a, a Tani D. A T D J. No, Daniel B. A T D J. That's your name. T D J. Tani T- DJ. Tani. Shit, okay. Let's take T- let's do it. Okay. Let's try and do it. Okay, and I'll be so. like I shouting so. out to Skulk, left, right, yeah. and center. You just need to find out what the kids are listening to because yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so talk to me. Okay, yeah. so content creator, do you make money from that? I do. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it brands that say we'll pay you five grand yeah, to well, I ten think, grand or whatever? I, to I think I was all, like, so even though I didn't have a plan B, because I'm the same, I was just in my mind having a plan B growing up was just like, why would you do that? Because then you're not fully set on your plan A. And that just sounds silly. So um, even sometimes though I having a plan B is having no plan. Exactly. Because what is your plan? Plan yeah. then if you're just putting in. If like, you're just making sure that you have something for when you fail. So I, you get it, get it. Woo! Yeah, exactly. House. Now we yeah. Um, <laughs> no, so I I really enjoyed business, but that was never something that I went into. But I've taken all those. L- Things that I learned over the years, and I made this something that was sustainable for myself. What are you? He wants to go no, out. He wants to go out. Maybe open that door over there. Thanks. Thanks, Neil. Um. Yeah. So I wanted to make sure that this was sustainable because I'd done so many different things that people had told me weren't sustainable. I wasn't gonna, you know. So I wanted to do this right, and I wanted to not be taken advantage of. So brands in the beginning just wanted to do trade exchanges. They just wanted to, yeah, we're gonna I get, get so you. Many. I mean, like, I had one one brand who was giving me milk, and 
I'm like, how do I pay rent with milk? Also, what they don't understand a lot of these brands is like some of it is helpful. Yeah. Right? So like if I don't have a car. Of course. And you go, we'll give you a car as a trade exchange. Mm. You're like, that helps me. Yes. Because now normally I would go and have to spend 6,000 rand a month Mm. on a car. Yeah. But now sometimes it's like, I've had like, we'll give you a car to drive around in for three months. And I'm like, but I have a car. Yeah. Now it's almost more inconvenient for me because now what must I do with my, I'm still, I'm paying for a car that I'm not driving Mm -hmm. just to drive in this other car. Now what, I only have one garage. Now I've got two cars that I have to, it's just like, Mm. I'd rather just working. get the money, exactly. take money from you yeah. and drive my car. And then it's like, I'd rather, like, I actually want to go overseas for yeah. work and I want to buy those tickets. So I'd much rather have 20 mm. grand yeah. cash. Or it's in either the bank. just like, give me the money so I can buy food, so I can turn the electricity on. Sometimes also products that you just don't use, use and then you, they think you're rude if you go, guys, I just don't want. <laughs> These bry tongs. I don't bry. <laughs> like I'm not a never home anyway. Mm, yeah. And I don't want to make a whole social media content piece for tongs. Yeah. What about five tongs? What am I going to do with five tongs? Yeah. Just so just <laughs> ten. Yeah, that's when I go <laughs> travel to Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, but I, anyway, sorry. My that's my little is, rant. I get the he frustration, want tongs. but it is a thing. I was speaking to, yeah. with someone about it yesterday. It's a thing that we've, it's a culture we've created in South Africa mm-hmm. that we are now stuck with because a lot of up and coming people, they they do the, those deals. Yes. Nah? Now the brand goes, yeah, okay, this is obviously, and they actually, I think, are going suckers. Yeah. Yeah, we got them. Yeah. Now we can just give them like shitload of, product yeah. which costs us nothing and they will just take happily take that give us marketing but like in america that doesn't happen mm. you know and i tell my friends the afrikaans actresses like someone like i'm gonna mention a name mila guy now she's big in the afrikaans industry she's a name so i tell her like don't take stuff for free because fine you are not in terms of followers in terms of net worth you are not margot robbie mm-hmm. but in our industry in the afrikaans industry you are as famous as Margot Robbie is in her community, community in America. So like in your, okay, we are like in a smaller pond mm. here, but in your pond, you are the Margot Robbie of your pond. Yes. But I'm like, do you think Margot Robbie is, Coca-Cola is delivering fucking 100 cases of Coca-Cola sure, to her house exactly. for her to now only drink Coca-Cola? No, her yeah. agent's going to go, Fine, Margot Robbie will only drink Coca Cola. She, you'll never see her with a Pepsi can in her hand, mm-hmm. but that is going to cost you exactly fifty million dollars. But sometimes I, I'm in this conversation, and now you, the poopal, because you go, okay, cool, I'll do this for this much money, mm-hmm. and then they'll go, and it's like your peers, you know, and they'll go, oh, but Cassidy Does did it, it for, for free, for for free, and you're like. But I know Cassidy. Did she really do it for free? No, well, not for free, but we gave a, yeah. a Seattle voucher. <laughs> and she, she's now every day she can have a free Seattle. And then you're like, um, okay, well, I'm sorry Cassidy did that, but I'm not really interested in yeah. like, free coffee. Can I Can I rather <laughs> yeah. have payment? Yeah. So that it is a, yes, it's such a tricky thing. It is. Know? and I, But I, so I have this conversation with brands and I, I think it's, I think it's really important to stand up for yourself. I mean, look, I did a year's worth of free trade exchanges, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, but now I can, I mean, look, my my dad will still send me messages going, it's a very bottlenecked industry, hey? Don't you think you should go into IT? <laughs> He's been trying to get me to go into IT since I was in like grade school. Um, Are but you good with computers? I, yeah. I'm good with computers. Can you take one apart and... Well, as a kid, I was like incredibly just, I was, but now I don't care. That's the thing. Can you fix a cracked screen on a phone? Well, I don't want to open your phone because then you lose your <laughs> Apple warranty. 
wow, okay, you do know, <laughs> yeah. you do know IT. And I, so I'm like, yeah, I, don't, I didn't want to get into all of that because I saw what my dad did. Like, I also didn't want to get into travel because I knew what my mom did. It was just not something that, you know, I didn't mm. wake up and go, oh, I'm excited to do that. So I, yeah, I was very gracious about getting into what I got into and I, and, and I did it, you know, in a way that I could understand and almost take up space. But, um, yeah, now I'm in content and it's given me a lot of confidence to actually do what I want to do, which is to produce my own pieces, to go and start doing stand up, or which I have been doing. Um, and now I'm in the works of, of launching a company, which is really cool. But uh, yeah, I needed to. Get what, a, what is the company? Uh, it's a mentorship company where I teach and help other creatives become strong with their voices. Kind of, I feel like we're in a situation where people don't want to be content creators, they want to be influencers. Yeah, what's the difference? Uh, to be an influencer is you, you want the lifestyle. You want to get everything for free. You want to go to red carpets. You want you want that very bougie life. But how do think- influencers make money? Because they also at some stage have to say, okay, well, I'm going to charge you for something. Ex- yeah. They, so- you can't just live on going on free trips because you need to like get an Uber to the airport at the end of the day to yeah. go to Bali for your free I influencer mean, trip. I guess what it comes down to is influencer uh, to be an influencer is a lifestyle. You don't pay for anything, um, but it's you and just, you get paid for r- reviewing y- the yeah, place, yeah, yeah. Or right? Product. But to be a content creator is to create something funny stuff. Yeah, not even funny stuff. Yeah, to okay. create either entertaining, inspirational, or educational pieces of content. That is to be a content creator. To be an influencer is just to be someone to Posting look at. Posting photos. Yeah. And so it's, I want to be, I want to make people like, um, I want to make them knowledgeable on what the difference is and see if they still want that lifestyle. Because I mean, to be a content creator is incredibly difficult and it's, oh, it's time stressful consuming as well. and time consuming. I mean, I, I complain to my mom all the time about how overwhelmed I am because you also don't want to let brands down because brands start talking. And I mean, in this industry, it's so small. But it's quite hectic because you will be out and she'll be like, oh, you can't make these things up. You go, I'm going to use this for content. It's all the time. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, I mean, that's the brain of a comedian. <laughs> you just constantly. Yeah. I'm, yeah, my mom and my sister have to, tell, have to tell me, please don't, please don't, don't talk about this. In yeah. Pu- like online or in public. And I go, it's going online. It's, it's going to so, happen. But it's very entertaining. We do laugh a lot. Um, but that's also because I have, so you obviously know Nina Hasty. Yes. So I, I was like pushing Nina to do more content and she was like, it's so rude that you're funny and you aren't doing stand up. So she was like, go. And she basically tripped me and I fell onto stage with a mic in my hand. So you guys kind of cross yeah. pollinate. Yeah, exactly. Other. And she was like, you're going to do stand up. I'll do more content. And yeah, it was nice. She was like my mentor in that regard. And that was really cool. Um, and how are you finding the stand-up? I'm I mean, really I've, enjoying I, it's it. A, it's a tough time to start because the club scene is... Cape Town now is actually one of the best club scenes in the country. Yeah. yeah. I, look, there's, there's there's so many and and, and I, like it's, it's tough because it is... I was saying to um, Neil earlier on that I feel like you... <laughs> you need a wee. <laughs> Go Can quick, I? go quick, yo. Cassidy can yeah, speak no. to me. Uh, that was so <laughs> I, I, think thought it so, made, I thought something. Yeah. Sure, I, got I such think a it would have made good content if you just like, peed. Get up, I need to I can't okay, goodbye. Yeah, you no, know, she's so extra. It was wild. Anyway, that's the woman that birthed me. Um, it was tough uh, wanting to start stand up, but I enjoyed it because there were so many different spaces. But getting like um, a spot on stage was really difficult in a male dominated industry. Yeah, but it's, there's also just because there aren't, there's a lot of comedians and not a lot yes. of gigs. Yeah. Then there were a lot of gigs and not that many, many comedians. Com- exactly. So it was way easier to get a spot. Now, because any lineup they need to rotate they can't of course. Like, it's like we can't have Cassidy on every week yeah, yeah so yeah. now it's like 
when can I do the gig again? Okay, in three weeks. And yeah. you're like, ugh, yeah. it's not in, like, you know. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, Gilly and Nina had to help me get my first gig because mm. they they wouldn't even let me do um, an open mic at the armchair because they were like, we don't know her. Like, the guy even introduced me here. I was like, uh, yeah, I don't even know if she's funny. So I was like, okay, cool. And he said I was from Joburg, so that's lovely. <laughs> um, but it's it's really cool now. I mean, are you feeling better? Yes. Okay. It's it's cool now and there's like there's there's great spaces, but um I was saying to Neil early on, you really have to like go all in when you when you're doing it. Because otherwise it just becomes a thing that you do sometimes. I'm happy. I'm I'm a I'm just I'm happy, man. <laughs> I'm just so like you Catch know. Catch me what I'm next saying? week. Yeah. Same time. <laughs> I'm on from 10 to 11, playing you those yeah. old school jams that you know and love. <laughs> I, think you need, I think you need a TDJ. Yeah, I just got to hysterical. keep on um, giving my kids lots of support and lots of love. I was waiting for her to say lots of love. Oh, oh, you, you are giving them support because you said that they're moving back home. You as well. <laughs> They don't want to leave me. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? They just want to live with me. They the want to be my life. The best support that you can give is a rent free life. <laughs> like Cassidy even wants to drive in the car with me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just, yeah, I they need just, content. They feed off my vibes. <laughs> you know? They feed off my vibes. Cassidy, your, your plan is there one um, or is it just go with the flow? Because that's kind of always been my. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to yeah. get opportunities in. I can't tell, you know, what. So I'm just like, I'm just going to try and everything I do, try and kill it as mm, hard as good. I can. And then whatever good. opportunities we'll see. How yeah. we'll, yes. So I don't even have a plan going forward. My uh. plan is just like keep delivering shows, keep doing stand up, keep and every time go on stage, be the funniest that I can be. And yes. whatever comes from that comes from that. But mm. is there, uh, I'm the same. Actually, I, I, I'm just. I really just want to be able to be creative at all times. Mm. Um, I, I think that that makes my soul happy. Um, and yeah, I don't really think you can have a plan in this day and age. I think it's so ignorant because I you mean, not too much of a plan. Though. Yeah, exactly. You can say like, I want to do stand up, but yeah. like you, you have yeah. to, yeah, take it at like with a pinch of salt, right? Um, I guess whatever I do, I just want to also just like put a hundred percent in it and really just, yeah, Cause be I, creative. I, I, the industry, I mean, not that I was am old enough to know the industry then, but um, I think the entertainment industry back in the day was way more. You could take opportunities. Yes. Now you kind of have to. You forced to wait for them to come to you not in yeah. a, a passive way necessarily because you're still putting yourself out there mm -hmm. but like you say you are emailing yes. Birkenstock yeah nah? um, and back emailing in, you guys and back in the day nah, mm. because there were so little comedians it could be the like let's say the 70s mm. you could just walk in this is what people did like yeah. a comedian would now walk into Birkenstocks into the they just walk into the head office you always hear these stories and the receptionist is like no, why? You, you don't have a meeting. You can't, you can't go in there. <laughs> Break open the door. Yeah. Mr. Birkenstock, I'm your guy. <laughs> Who yeah. are you? Yeah. I'm Skulk Poseidon. I'm the new up and I'm the next big thing. Yeah. Put me in your ads. <laughs> that's brilliant. Yeah. And then you become the Birkenstock guy. But yeah. that's like people could, you could take opportunities or you could like, um, you know, at, at parties, you could just go to a party mm. and like shake an important film director's hand and you're like, I'm your next star. Yeah, exactly. And you'd be like, my golly, I like your spunk, kid. <laughs> and then, <laughs> like, that's how it worked. And then you're like, put me in your next movie, sir. Come to my office tomorrow at <laughs> nine. <laughs> then it's like, and then I went the next day at nine and they put me in the top hat and they rolled the camera and now I'm famous. Bugsy you Malone. Know? Now it, you can't, it doesn't work like that. You can't just like no. bang down the door at Adidas and be like, sponsor me. Come yeah. on, you guys are making a mistake. You'll be taken out by security and arrested. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, it's, 100%. Um, so, yeah, it, it is a tough, you can't, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I, then you'd be like, I'm going to Hollywood and I'm going to be a star. That's my plan. Yeah. And then you, you go it, and do it. Exactly. Uh, gosh, at this point, I'm just like, um, just to... <sighs> At this point, I just want to be able to not have to work for a boss and to kind of march the beat of my own drum and 
yeah, that's that was my goal actually growing up was to not work for anyone was just to like be able to be creative and and make content. And now I guess uh, that's what's happening. Oh, that's also such an exhausting word these days. Content. It is content. Everyone, need, we need to make content. <laughs> Even now, this content we're giving you. What content. was the other word? Hey, what was the word in the eighties? Or the seventies, or the nineties. Maybe, maybe just said entertainment. Yeah, I don't know what they said. that's it. Entertainment. Yeah. Just actually, entertain us. Yeah. Now yeah. it's like content. We need, need to, to make, make content. 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 People yeah. even ask me after the show, "Where can I see your content?" I'm like, "You just saw the fucking content now <laughs> in the show. What are you talking about? <laughs> you paid a ticket for the content. You saw the content. Go home. Yeah, Think no. about the content. Tell your friends about the content tomorrow, so that they can come to my next show and watch the content." We can see your I content. I fucking love you. Anywhere and nowhere. Yeah. I don't know. Exactly. Just, everything's content these days. People just love that. This tree, if I film this tree, that's content. Hundreds. I can literally take my phone. Content. 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 Yeah. Look here. Film yeah. this. <laughs> content. Goom this is content. Is shaking. Shaking dog. Content. You can put it on a YouTube <laughs> channel. Shaky dog YouTube. <laughs> People will watch it. It'll get 100 million views. Becomes a new thing. Oh, have you seen the new shaky dog? Yeah. Content. Shake, it's the content. It's content. 100%. <sighs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Daniel. Looking forward to your DJ career. You're such a bummer. <laughs> you next to, um, I almost said Avicii, but he passed away. Shame. By the Don't way, I have to tell the story on the podcast. <laughs> I, I told it to someone the other day. My mom, this relates to your, you becoming a DJ. Honey, mom. My mom. This, this, when she thinks she, when she's right, she's very like stubborn. Yeah, you know. So yeah. when she she hears something on the radio, she sometimes interprets it wrong. But then if you say no, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. She goes, "They said it on the radio." <laughs> oh God! <laughs> How can you tell me it's? Right? They said it. I heard it. So when Avicii died, she said Shame. to me, "I didn't even know they she knew who Avicii was." Mm. Um, she said. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I they said heard it. Avicii died. Now nah, she heard on the news of Avicii. Now she said, That's so tragic. So, first I was like, oh, okay, I don't know. My mom knew who Avicii was. Yeah. But I'm like, Yeah, no, it's very sad. And then she said, Because you know, he has that song, Hey, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But now my mom doesn't understand a DJ like Avicii is also a producer. So, he makes the song. Nah? So, mm. she goes, He died. I said, Yes, it's sad. She goes, he had such a beautiful voice. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks it's Avicii singing. So I'm like, no, mom, he's actually a producer. So how it works. Now I'm trying to explain it, yeah, like, yeah, but yeah. not trying to patronize. And yeah. I'm saying, no, no. So he will create the beat and the music. He will then go get a singer. Mm -hmm. That guy you're singing, hey, brother, that's yeah. like an unknown singer mm. that he just booked yeah. and paid. Mm. And like that. That, so that's not Avicii. She goes, Skulky, they played that song on the radio and afterwards they said <laughs> that was Avicii. Oh my God. Now, now I'm like, how but do Chame, you... But Chame, you know, she's not alone. Argue, eh? I also initially... How do you argue with that? I initially <laughs> also used to think that, eh? <laughs> that they used to sing that. I was like, yo, how did they... But then I realized, nah. Then you listen to David Guetta and you're like, he's got a different voice on every, every song. Time. Here's a girl. <laughs> Yeah, he's singing like a girl. Yeah, he's singing like a guy. <laughs> Shame, yeah. but I'd love to. But every time I look at you, all I just see is fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, you used to like fuck it, man. Fuck it, man, sir. Yeah, so I just see fuck it, man, sir. That's like, you should have a like fuck it, man, sir. T-shirt. T-shirt. Yeah, why not? Okay, now I'll, Make I'll, it. Like and then you be a DJ and then you'll make fuck it, man, sir, tops. I'll I really tell, dig it. I'll tell fuck my it, team. Yeah. There is no team. It's just me. <laughs> yeah. Team zero. But it sounds... Sounds like you. you I think you're you could a, really you're the big time if you say. You I'll tell say, my team. <laughs> yeah, I think you could do hashtag fuck it, man, sir. Okay, I'll think about it. Thank you. She worked for Ogilvy, so she knows what she's talking about. Advertising, one of the many the jobs. This keeps <laughs> keeps coming back. I love it. Danny, peace out. Thank you. Peace out. Thank you, Bruci. Let her talking to you. <laughs> my Bruci, my bra. Yeah. Hey. That was cute. Like a Gosh. Thank you, Skulk. You're such a legend. Your mom with Skulk.
Skulk is a Telltale Media production and hosted by me, Skulk Besaitnan. Once again, please hit the subscribe button on your podcast app. That's it for today, but I'll catch you next week for another chat with another Tani.